Team 3 Weatherland. Here's Daniel's True View forecast. Welcome back everyone. We've got a lot going on in the forecast. We've got showers on the way for the weekend. The tropics have started to kick on as we get into the very busy time of year. We will get through all of it. Let's start though with a look at the satellite and radar picture out across the Gulf Coast. If you look out towards the eastern Gulf, you can see quite a bit going on there. There's a lot of rainfall and you can see it's very, very churned up. Everything is very unsettled. Now this is not tropics related, but it is going to have an impact on our weather a little down the line as we get further into the weekend. And we'll see all of this progress westwards that inverted trough going to be making its way across the area. So get ready for a pretty wet weekend coming up. Now today, once again, we avoided some of those showers. Believe it or not, they actually had some drier air come in from a ridge that's sitting out over in Texas. It was drier air at the, at the mid and upper levels of the atmosphere, though, because down along the surface, it was another very muggy day. That's where all the moisture has been so far. But because we have had a little bit of drier air aloft, it has kind of put a cap on on the showers that we've been able to see. Now we did have some that were trying to push their way across Acadiana. They have not had a whole lot of success in doing so. It's been mostly isolated showers out there right now. Little going on on the radar. You've got the heaviest activity up over towards Opelousas and the Washington area, but that is starting to fizzle. And then down along the coastline, you do have a few isolated showers. Looks like a, a bigger cell getting going just south of New Iberia. That's going to be along Highway 90 there between New Iberia and Jeteret and Southern Iberia Parish. Otherwise, not too much going on. And if you are seeing some rainfall now, it will not last that much longer. It will just breeze on by. And we have a similar day to this coming up again for tomorrow. Not going to get much change here over the next 24 hours. Let's change gears now. Let's talk about the tropics. We were mentioning this area yesterday. This is right off the African coast, and it does look like soon we will see tropical storm Florence. Still potential uh, cyclone right now, so it doesn't quite have the center of circulation, doesn't quite meet the criteria, but the impacts are going to basically be the same as a tropical storm, and they want those watches up along the Cape Verde Islands. Now, the good news is, is that this whole system does stay out in the Atlantic and is not going to pose any kind of threat to the U.S. or to the Gulf of Mexico or really anyone. It's just going to stay out in the ocean. Nothing to worry about, but we do have some activity that could be brewing out in the eastern Gulf. So again, this is just a large round of moisture. Looks like a mess on the satellite right now. It's going to bring plenty of moisture into our area this weekend and get the rainfall going. But as far as tropical activity, you've got to look out over towards Puerto Rico and the Eastern Caribbean. This is where the next wave is sitting out over towards the Dominican Republic, and that could actually track northwestwards into the Eastern Gulf over the weekend. It has to go through some very unfavorable territory for those types of systems, though. We may see it try and come together in the Eastern Gulf. Models have hinted at it a little bit, but it's still too far to tell, but something to watch over the weekend. This is what we've got coming up for the next 24 hours. Things not too bad overnight tonight and into tomorrow morning. Again, it will be a similar day tomorrow to what we saw today. Isolated showers popping up in the afternoon and the evening. They will make their way across the area and within an hour or two, everything will be cleared up. You should have a pretty quiet Friday night and then we'll get the rainfall started again on Saturday. Saturday, we will see on again, off again showers basically through the remainder of the day. Again, all of that moisture in the eastern Gulf comes surging across the area and that will continue on through Sunday. I think Sunday actually going to be a wetter day. We'll see more in the way of showers and it looks intimidating on the models right now, but when you start talking the rain totals, I think it will feel like we've had more rain than we will actually officially measure at any of the sites. 74 overnight tonight. It will be a thick, heavy atmosphere. It will be warm. It will be muggy. It will be hot tomorrow. 91 degrees for your high, a 40% chance for some showers and then the rainfall Saturday and Sunday could continue on into Labor Day and until we know what's going on with the Eastern Gulf, we'll not have an impact on our forecast for next week. I would imagine that we see some changes for next week's forecast, mm -hmm. but right now we'll just go scattered. All right, well, stay tuned. Thanks, Daniel. <laughs>